Hi everybody, how are you? Thank you for joining me. My name is Rachel. I'm one of the children's librarians at the San Mateo County Libraries and this is Yoga Storytime. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to move our bodies in ways that are inspired by the stories that I share. Both of the stories that we're reading today feature penguins and so we're definitely going to learn some penguin poses but i thought it'd be fun to explore some of the other animals that we might see in the arctic and antarctic regions as well i even wore my fun snowflake yoga pants for our program today uh, so i'm pretty excited uh, before we get started why don't you go ahead and grab your sticky yoga mat i've got mine back behind me if you don't have a yoga mat that's okay you can always use a blanket uh, you could grab your beach towel or a rug, anything that is comfortable for you to sit on and would be good um, for you to help define your space while we're doing our program today, okay? So I'm going to give you a moment to grab those. Um, I am going to share a couple of e-resources with you today to access our stories. One of them is called Hoopla. The other one is called Overdrive. Uh, both of these are accessible for free with your library card, your San Mateo County library card. If you have any trouble accessing our online resources, please reach out and let us know. We're happy to help. You can reach us by email. There's a way to scroll down on the bottom of our website at smcl.org. Scroll all the way to the bottom and there's a contact us form there to get in touch. You can also text us. And so we're texting seven days a week with our patrons um, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The phone number to text us at is 650-851-0147, okay? If you have any questions about anything, please reach out. We miss your questions, we miss you, and we're happy to help. Okay, did everybody grab your yoga mat or your blanket or your towel? Are you ready to go? Okay, so we're going to scoop back. We're going to start with our welcome song. We're going to scoop all the way back. So when we're able to gather together in the library, we often sit in a circle so we can all see each other. And we take a moment to recognize everybody who came to our program today. Uh, so we sing that with our welcome, Who's Here Today song. And we're gonna sing it three times. If you haven't heard it before, that's okay. You'll figure it out pretty quickly. We're gonna start with me. Uh, so we'll sing it like this. Ready? Here we go. Is Rachel here today? Yes, Rachel's here today. <gasps> Jump up and down and all around because Rachel's here today. Okay, my friends, I'm going to sing it for you now. Uh, when it's your chance to jump up and down, I want you to jump however you like. Do a silly dance, make a pose, whatever's fun for you. Okay, here we go. Are my friends here today? Yes, my friends are here today. And then jump with you. Jump up and down and all around. My friends are here today. Good job, friends. Good job. Let's go one more time because I want you to be able to say your name. Shout it out. Your name is very special and important to you. Here we go. Ready? Is here today. Yes. Is here today. Woo! Jump up and down and all around. Is here today. Very good. Very good. Thank you, friends, for joining me. So we start all of our yoga story times with the Om song. If you don't know it, that's okay. You'll figure it out pretty quickly. We're gonna sing it together. Since we're going on a polar adventure today, can you imagine your hands get so chilly in the snow, right? Yeah. Let's rub our hands together to warm them up for our song. Get some heat going between your palms. You can check to see if your hands are warm yet. Oop, touch them to your cheeks. Nope, not yet. Should we go a little faster? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Let's sing the song together. Here we go. Rub your hands. Sit up tall. Take a deep breath. Oh. Good job. Should we try it one more time? Yeah. Rub your hands, sit up tall, take a deep breath. Oh. Good job, friends. Good job. Okay, before we read our first story, I want to introduce a few poses that you'll be able to take while we're reading it. So I mentioned that both of our stories today are yoga action book as well as our quiet listening story that we're going to listen to later, have penguins. So let's learn some penguin poses. 
Our first penguin pose, you're gonna stand up really tall. Find your feet underneath of you so you've got your legs together. Can you turn your toes out? Your heels are touching, but your toes are out. Sometimes hard to balance like this, isn't it? Tricky for me. Bring your hands down by your sides and then turn up your hands at the wrists. Very good. So you've got your flippers, you've got your little feet. And can you waddle like a penguin? <laughs> waddle this way. Can you try waddling the other way? You can go down the full length of your yoga mat. It's our penguin pose. Can we go the other way again? Good job, friends. Good job. There's a couple other ways to play with the penguin pose as well. And that's where this blanket or an extra carpet or towel might come in handy to help get some cushion for your knees. So you can bring your knees up onto your blanket or your mat. I'm going to turn so you can see. I still want my flippers by my sides, right? But can you, we're going to balance on our knees, but maybe kind of come off of your toes. See? Can you try waddling like that? It's harder, isn't it? It's really hard. Good job. So play with that a little bit too. You'll have a chance to play with that while we're doing our story time. The trickiest way to be a penguin, and it's not, it's not always going to work in my body either, once you get really comfortable balancing like this, you might try to grab your feet, maybe one at a time, and see if you can balance on your knees while holding your feet. And you can't always get it. Sometimes I can't get it, but it's fun to play with and practice. Ready? Let's try it. Let's see if I've got it today. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> it's really hard. There we go. And so you can balance on your knees. Whoa, we go in a circle. And practice with it. Play with it as much as you'd like to. Okay? The second pose you're going to learn for our story is just to go swimming, right? So the seals, they go swimming in the water. Let's slide into the water, kick your feet, and swim. Swimming like a seal in the water, swimming like a penguin. Good job. The last pose that we're going to learn for our story is seal pose. So come to lay back on your back. Bring your legs up in front of you. You can bend them at the knee and your arms straight up above you like this. And then practice clapping your hands together and your knees and your ankles together too. And then you can bark like a seal, go ar, 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 ar. Good job, good job, friends. Those are the three poses that we're gonna play with during our story. You ready? So come back to your seat. First, let's come into our book pose because we're getting ready for our story book. You can bring your feet down in front of you and your knees right here. Open up the covers of your book. While I get our book set up, why don't you give yourself a little foot massage, massage your legs, and we'll start our story. Okay. So our first story today is called Five Flying Penguins. There we go. So this story is written by Barbara Barbieri McGrath, and it was illustrated by Stephanie Pfizer Coleman, and it's published by Charles Bridge. Shall we practice counting to five? We will on the next page. Okay, five little penguins sitting on the ice. Let's count them together. There's one, two, three, four, five. Can you come up into one of your penguin poses? Whichever one you want to play with today, you can use the one where you're standing on your feet, you've got your ankles together and your toes pointed out. You can practice one of the, the waddle poses on your knees. The first one said, today feels very nice. The second one said, snow is in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. Uh-oh, my friends, do you see anything in the water? <gasps> do you see it? I think one of our penguin friends might see it. The fourth one said, hey, look, here comes a seal. You see him over here? He's coming through the water. The fifth one said, he wants us for a meal. Oh, no. 
pitter patter went penguin feet. Can you make your waddles? Waddle, 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 waddle. As they dove right in. You gonna dive into the water with them? Come down onto your bellies. Splash. Five flying penguins started to swim, swim, swim. Kick your feet. Penguins might be slow on land, but they are fast in the water. Flip flap went penguin wings as they flew through the sea. The first one said, come on and follow me. So they're still trying to get away from that seal. The second one said, we are moving very fast. The third one said, hey, we've lost that seal at last. The fourth one said, it's time to get some air. Take a big deep seal and penguin breath in. The fifth one said, wait, look who's over there. Okay, my friends, can you come into your seal pose? Come back onto your back, bring your arms straight up above you and your ankles and your knees together. Clap them and go, ar, ar, ar. You can challenge yourself too by clapping one hand to the opposite foot or knee. Ar, ar, ar. Onk, barked the charging seal. He just wouldn't quit. I can't get away from him. That sneaky, silly seal said, penguins, tag, you're it. Uh-oh. I don't know if they knew that they were part of that game. What do you think? Good job, friends. Okay. So I'm going to scoot back to my yoga mat a little bit. So we just met some penguins. We met a seal and we went swimming. Let's see who else we might see in the Arctic. So I'm gonna get out my binoculars. Can you get out your binoculars too? Let's look around. Hmm. What do you see? I saw a snowy owl. Did you see it too? Yeah, let's come back into our snowy owl pose. We're gonna sit back on our heels. You can tuck your toes beneath you to stretch out your feet. Give yourself some great big wings. Did you know that an owl can turn its head almost 270 degrees around? We can't do that, but we can work on strengthening our eyes so our eyes can look as far as they can possibly go, right? Let's try that, but let's try it. This is tricky. Let's try it without turning our heads. Can we try? Let's try it. We're gonna strengthen those eyes so they're just as strong as an owl's. So let's bring one arm up in front of you and focus on your thumb. Can you see your thumb with your eyes? You're gonna keep a steady gaze on your thumb and without moving your head, follow your thumb as it goes up and down from side. Oh, don't turn your head. And then all the way to the other side. See how far you can see looking out the corner of your eye and then Follow your thumb with your gaze all the way around in a circle. It's really hard, right? But it's so good to strengthen your eyes like that to keep them nice and strong. Good job, friends. That was tricky, I know. So let's see. Let's come back to our owls. You've got your arms or your wings. We're going to practice rising up and down and flying. So let's take a big, deep owl breath in as we rise up. And then on our out, we're gonna go down and say, whoo hoo! Good job. Big owl breath in. Whoo hoo! One more time. Whoo hoo! Good job, friends. Good job. Who do you think that owl saw with his eyes? What do you think he's looking for? Hmm. I think he saw what looks like a little mouse. It's called a lemming. No, not a lemon, a lemming. A lemming is like a little mouse or a bowl. He's down here on the ground. Let's come back into our little mouse. So you come down to rest your, your tummy on your thighs. Bring your arms back by your side and you can rest your forehead on your mat. And you might give a little squeak, 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 squeak. This is a great place to rest if ever you're tired. Squeak, 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 squeak. Good job. Let's rise up because I see a musk ox. Musk ox is like a big, furry, hairy cow. And so we can come to our hands and knees. You can untuck your toes. Maybe 
arch your back up while you bend your head down to eat some of those yummy grasses. And then when you're ready, you're gonna drop your belly, lift your chin up to the sky, take a deep breath in and give a loud <laughs> Good job, friends. Let's eat some more grass. Round your upper back. Gobble, 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 gobble. Yum, 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 yum. Drop your belly, lift your chin up, take a deep breath in, and move. Good job. Shall we eat one more time? Deep breath in, move. Good job. Let's come back to our downward dog pose. We can imagine that we're a sled dog up in the Iditarod race in Alaska. Good job, and we're a happy dog, so we're gonna wag our doggy tails and say, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. They like to run really fast. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Good job. Let's look forward towards our hands, tiptoe our feet up to the top of the mat, Bow down and say, hello, earth, hello. Then bend your knees, come a little ways up. We're gonna come into our reindeer pose. Reindeer, you got your antlers up here by your head. You see my antlers? Good job. Reindeer are kind of skittish, right? So we're gonna take a few steps forward, look side to side and freeze. Take a few steps, look side to side and freeze. One more time. Good job. Give your legs a rest. Let's come back to stand in our penguin pose. Do you remember that one? Heels together, toes out, hands at your side. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna go in a circle. <laughs> Good job, everybody. We'll come down to our knees. Okay. Did you wanna play with balancing again on those knees? Good job. Good job. You ready to go for a swim? Let's dive back into the seat. Kick your legs, take a few swimming strokes, and see who else do we see in the sea here. I think I saw a whale. Did you see it too? You did? Can we become a whale? I think we can try. Okay. Let's bring our heels together. Your knees will go a little wide. And you're going to kick your feet up, so heels together, toes out, knees a little bit wide. Here's your whale tail, and you can flip your tail in the water. Bring your hands out in front of you into kind of a big circle. Whales are so big. Can we make ourselves as big as a whale? Yeah. So when you're ready, you're going to lift up your upper body and your tail and just swim around. And go, Whoa! Ooh, can you sing like a whale? Have you seen Finding Nemo? How <laughs> Dory calls out to the whale? It's pretty silly. <laughs> Good job, friends. Who else might we see out in the water? Do you remember who was swimming in the water with our penguins in our first story? A seal. Let's flip back onto our back. We'll try our seal pose again. Bring your knees up. Your heels together, you've got your hands. Arr, 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 arr. Good job. Arr, arr, arr. Should we try the challenge of clapping opposite hand to knee? Go arr, arr, arr. Arr, arr, arr. You wanna try to reach your feet? Arr, arr, arr. Arr, arr, arr. Good job. Now what are our penguin friends, our whales and our seals trying to eat in the water? Fish? Yeah, let's come into a fish pose. So you're gonna bring your elbows underneath you. You've got your hands by your side. These are your fins, your flippers, right? Bring your feet up. Here's your fish tail. You can give it a little splash. Okay. Tell me on the count of three, I'm gonna have everybody shout out, what color is your fish? You ready? One, two, three. What color? Oh, sparkles too? Wow, that's nice. Good job, there's our fish pose. Can you make a fishy face? Good job, everybody, good job. Let's roll onto our backs, pull our knees into our chest. Give them a great big hug. Good 
Good job. You might even lift your head up, give your knees a little kiss for all the support they gave you when we were playing with our penguin pose. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you, knees. And then we're gonna rock and roll up and over. So let's try one, and two, and three. We come up and over into our hands and knees again. Remember like when we were musk oxen? Good job. Now we're gonna come into a polar bear pose. So the polar bear, even though he's a really big animal, he's pretty hard to see because he's all white with this black nose, right? So we can come into our polar bear pose. This is a variation of our mouse pose or our child's pose. So with your toes together, put your knees out wide. We're gonna fold forward so that our belly can rest between our legs and bring our hands down in front of us. You can cup them together. They're gonna go right over your nose. So he hides his black nose in the snow so people can't see him. There we go. And so you might sleep like this. Can you give a great big polar bear snore? And if he feels threatened in any way, he's gonna wake up. That's also what I sound like when I get woken up. <laughs> Let's come back into our polar bear pose. Ready? Good, good job, friends. Now, when he's really hungry, he can go fishing too, right? So he's going to reach under the snow and the ice to get the fish out of the water. Shall we try that? Let's try it. So coming back to your hands and knees, right? You're going to take one of your polar bear paws and you're going to slide it in the space between your arm and your leg to reach underneath the ice into the water. Can you bring your shoulder down to the ice? Maybe you're listening for what you can hear on the other side. Do you hear any fish down there? And reach around and see what you can find. <gasps> Did you get one? Oh, good. Pull it out. <sharp inhale> Delicious. Let's try the other side. Reach out that paw. Slide it under. Mm. What are you going to find? I got one. Mm. Delicious. So when you've got your fill of all the fishies in the sea, you can come back to rest in your sleeping polar bear pose. Good job. And we'll get ready for our next story too. Was that fun? Did we meet lots of animals on our polar adventure? Go ahead, come back to your mat. Bring your feet in front of you. We'll find our book pose. Your feet are resting on the floor. Your knees up high. Go ahead and open the covers of your book. Give yourself a little foot massage or leg massage. I'm going to get our next story ready to listen to. This is a quiet story we can read while our bodies are resting from all the work we just did. Share my screen. This story is called Grumpy Pants, and the words and the pictures are by Claire Messer, and this book was published by Albert Whitman and Company. I'm sharing this book through Overdrive. Penguin was in a bad mood, a very bad mood. He didn't know why, and he didn't care. He stomped his feet all the way home. He pulled off his grumpy coat and kicked off his grumpy boots, but he was still grumpy. He tried to shake it off, but he was still grumpy. So he pulled off one grumpy sock and then the other, but he was still grumpy. So he took off his grumpy overalls. Nope, still grumpy. Finally, he took off his grumpy underpants. Do those look like grumpy underpants to you? I'm still grumpy, you know. Then Penguin took a deep breath and he counted. One, two, three, splash. The water was nice and cold. Do you take cold baths? No. Penguin played with his duck, 
He hid himself under the water and made himself a bubble beard. Little by little, he was starting to feel much better. It was time to get out of the tub. He put on his favorite pajamas and he had a steaming cup of hot chocolate. He read his favorite book. He found his favorite teddy and he climbed into bed. As Penguin fell asleep, he knew that tomorrow would be a good day because all of the grumpiness had been washed away. Good night, Penguin. So I don't know about you, but I definitely have grumpy days. And sometimes I don't even know why I'm feeling grumpy. Um, and no matter what I do, whether it's trying to take care of myself by maybe giving myself a little ear massage or a foot massage, Maybe I go for a walk with my family or I play yoga. Sometimes no matter what I do, I still can't seem to get the grumpies to go away. Something that I think works really well for me is just to tell somebody how I'm feeling. Um, sometimes just knowing that someone else, even if they can't help your grumpies go away either, just knowing that they know that you're not feeling your best, it can be helpful just to know that someone knows, right? And maybe they understand that you need a little more comforting today or maybe you just need a little space. And kind of like in our story, right? Like after the rain, there's always like tomorrow. There's always after the rain, there's always the rainbow and there's always a new day and a fresh start. So one activity that I wanted to like show you and suggest as well is called breathe and draw. So you just need a piece of paper, any kind of paper and some color crayons and some markers or something like that. And so you'll take out your favorite color or whatever color you want to start with. And when you breathe in, you draw up. And when you breathe out, you draw down. You close your eyes while you're doing it so you don't know what's happening. You breathe in, you breathe out. And after every time you take a breath, you change out the color. You can use any colors you want. I used all the colors in my box. And I got a really pretty rainbow. And you can keep going over on top of it however you want to do it. It's your creativity, your craft. But I thought it's a fun way to practice taking deep breaths whenever maybe you're having a grumpy day too, okay? So I want to thank you so much for joining me. We're going to close out our story time with our own song. So let's come back to sit again. Okay, friends. Let's warm up our hands. It's still chilly in the polar regions. Ready? Rub your hands. Sit up tall. Take a deep breath. Oh. Good job, everybody. So now we're going to sing the Namaste song. And Namaste means the light in me sees the light in you, sees the kindness and the goodness that is in this, all of us the same, right? Namaste. So put your hands together back at your heart and we'll sing together. My little light, thou see your little light, your little light, your little light. My little light, thou see your little light, Namaste. You can sing it back to me. Your little light, that's my little light, my little light, my little light. Your little light, that's my little light, namaste. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. It really means a lot to me. We miss you. I'm excited to be here with you in this way. Please don't miss um, all of our programs that we have available at smcl.org. I had a great time today, and I'm excited to see you again next week. Thank you so much. Have a great day.